So, welcome to, back to the channel. I decided that uh, after my first ride that I needed to spend a lot more time on the bike, so I started to commute into work on the bike just to get myself the, uh, the hours and the saddle time. So here we go. And yeah, this isn't a great start. Um, still not noticed the smoke. Oh dear. I'm about to be absolutely terrified. Wait for it. Wait for it. Absolute fear and dread and horror at this point. I cannot tell you how scared I was. And then suddenly I realised that over the weekend I'd sprayed some uh, anti-rust stuff on the bike. The what is the the AFC 50, and that was what I was smoking because I sprayed it. Yes, on the headers and on the exhaust and on the hot bits of metal, which I now realise I'm not supposed to do. So, um, yeah, my bad. That's why I'm now, I'm now calming down and just focusing on getting to work because I've got to. But yeah, that was a bit of excitement that was, uh, you know, unnecessary. So here we go. Up, good old progress road. Um, oh, he's braking. I wonder what. Uh, good old bit of Christian motoring there. Always good. Here we go. Onto the mighty A127. So wait for the white car ahead and wait for it to hear me. And it hears me and moves closer to the white line. Lovely. Uh, Notices the car to its right, still moves close to the white line when it gets past it. Oh, moving even closer to the white line so that I can't pass. Ridiculous. There we go. Ah, car's letting me through. Um, I have to say, this is... Most of the time I don't have a problem with cars and they you know, let you through. As long as you don't surprise them, you know, rip past them at a silly speed, you observe the, you know, rules of the road, make progress at a sensible pace within the speed limit, you, you know, haven't trouble with any, or with most other drivers. It's just the odd one you get. And here we go, under the underpass, always good. Make a bit of progress up. Wonderful. Still in the speed limit. I'm going to work so things have been quite good on the bike um, I haven't filmed much since the first ride I just wanted to get used to the bike and uh, used to, to filtering and just generally establish and, and sort of improve on my oh hello yeah, let's focus let's focus okay I'm always doing this I'm always saying in my head thank you for not killing me please see me and I hate trucks like that. That looks big and scary. That's not, that's not, let's get past it. Cool. Oh great, now I can get some dirt off the, uh, off the, uh, down there. Past that, lovely. Wonderful. Oh, and most motorists let you through. Like most car drivers, it's great. They hear you and they let you through. Which is a benefit of being on loud bike. Change it down. Nice Porsche. Nice. And moving on. Yeah, just to. There's enough space. Please don't kill me. Cool. That's generally what I say when I'm filtering. Take it easy. Look out for the indicators. Look out for what's going on ahead. And don't keep. Don't get into their blind spot. Or certainly don't ride in their blind spot. Lovely. Cool. Excellent. Going well. There we go.
Oh, here we are. Everyone breathe in. Oh, thank you, Van Driver. Very nice. See, no, you don't have to let bikes through, but it's always nice when you get someone that does. Just, just got to the lights in. And here we go. On the, uh, about to join the A13. Pass some skips. Cool. Tuck in behind him. Excellent. On the A13. Lovely. Going well. Halfway to work. I work at Grace. So halfway there. And yeah, going well. Is that a is that BM? Is it also BM? Yeah. Is it Z4? I think so. Ah, another ZZR 1400. Going a bit quicker than I am now. Lovely. Don't see me in them about. Ah. My, if you remember Baron von Grumble and uh, one of his friends was called Ollie something and he did this thing on YouTube called the Filtrage. Of a certain footballer's poem that he said to the media, Ooh, breathe in. Uh, Eric Cantona, that was it. Thank you, love drama. Eric Cantona, wasn't it? He did the uh, I f the seagull follows the trawler bit, and that became La Filtrage, which we are doing now. Again, I'm saying, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. And look, a lot of the cars are just making that little bit of space which is nice. Okay, let's not ooh, okay, let's show a curse. Is it coming? Lovely. Okay. Oh, let's not. Van Lorry. Let's not. Yeah, bit of a sandwich there, let's not be the jam. Hmm. Cool, and speed this off me. Oh, thank you, white car. So, things have been going well on the bike. I've been um, driving it cautiously, but regularly, just to build up the skill set. And I've got the new MRI screen there, as you can see, just to keep the, the wind off, and it's been really good. The wind goes over my head over the helmet now rather than hitting my chest as it used to do when I was uh, when I didn't have to screen. Oh another white on hugger. So that's only two only two for this trip. Um, and the, all other motorists have been fine. Just goes to show you know most people are actually kind and considerate apart from the other one. So cool. Is that is that beige? I think it's beige. Is it cream? That's no, beige. Anyway, moving on. Lots of people in the centre lane, hogging the centre lane there, which is fine. Um, it must be as tempting as when you're in a car, isn't it, just to drive in that centre lane? At least no um. At least no uh, you know, motorcycle riders would ever get caught hugging the centre lane, because we know better. I can say no motorcycle riders would hug the centre lane. Hmm. Right, well I'm almost coming out for the turn off at Grace, which is lovely. Um, no one's killed me, which is excellent. And uh, a good ride into work. Just got to make sure I don't overshoot the, uh, the turn off. Which, which has happened on occasion. Uh, I'm still not sure about my ULE status of the bike, so I don't want to miss this junction, otherwise I could be into Richie Shunak's um, new zone. Listen.
cool. So, well, uh, that's almost the journey complete. I'm looking to do more rides like this and to work. I'm looking to do more sort of events, getting out on the bike, just give myself that saddle time that I need just to get that skill set up. Because uh, this is my first big bike and it is a bit quick. Uh, and I've been really cautious with it. Um, the last few months I've been riding it uh, for good reason. And uh, yeah, here we go. Let's try and focus on the gears and focus on the rear brake. Here we go. What are you going to do? Don't ride in a blind spot. What are you going to do? Okay, cool. Use the power of the bike, get past him. Roger. Do a, a cheeky, I'll just lorry there, I can do a cheeky, uh, a cheeky accelerator from the lights. That'd be fine. And safe to do. Cool. And that is my, com my commute almost complete. Wonderful. I can I yes again. Yep, here we go. Lovely. Oh, it must have worked now, so I'll uh, I'll say goodbye.